Hey everybody, today I'll be showing you how to add keywords for your product pages. The title says Shopify, but really this can be applied to any e-commerce website, which includes Etsy, Amazon, eBay, whatever you sell online, the SEO for it will still apply as Google is ultimately the one who decides what gets placed on the first page and what doesn't. Without taking up too much time, let's get started. First thing, what we see here is a keyword research report I just made for one of my clients and they sell humorous teas. It's categorized by keyword, keyword group, keyword type, search volume per month, so on and so forth. If you're interested in a customized report for your business, visit my website at richseoguy.com and shoot me a message there. All right. A lot of my clients ask me, hey, I've got a keyword research report, but what's next? How do I input them onto my page? And I go, sure, that makes sense. After all, what's the point of purchasing a car if you can't drive it, right? And going through my list here, you're going to see a combination of keywords. Some are plural, like funny t-shirts, and some are more descriptive, like Uncle Rico meme. In this essay, I will meme, just to give you a couple of examples. And right off the bat, the ones that are plural should be for category pages. And then you have descriptive long tail type of keywords that are going to be great for your product pages. Essentially, we're looking at two functions these keywords would serve. You may want to write this down or take a screenshot. For product pages, what you want to look for are long descriptive keywords someone is typing into Google because the search is transactional. It's specific enough that they're ready to make a purchase. For example, cat meme shirt or Uncle Rico meme. Plus you would add the product keyword, which is shirt. And I'll show you in, in a little bit how that works. For category pages, look for the plural vague keywords. Generally, the plural vague ones they're going to be good because this implies the searcher is looking for information and wants to see what's out there. If they type funny t-shirts into Google, your website pops up on the first page, the title and the meta description, it just resonates with them. They're going to click on your website. It's going to take them to your funny t-shirts category page. And if they find a product or a t-shirt that they really, really like, they're going to make a purchase. It's as simple as that. I'll show you a real life example. Going back to my report, the yellow tabs down here are my client's competitors. And let's look at Look Human since they do a pretty good job with their SEO. This is a report of Look Human's top performing keywords. This column here, the position column, it tells us what keywords they're currently positioned for. And another column that I like to pay attention to is the traffic column, which tells us how much traffic they're able to bring in according to the URL columns URL down here. Let's go to one of their pages to show you how they're adding in the keywords. I like this one here. Mess with the honk, you get the bonk. Even though, it is, even though it doesn't say t-shirt or shirt in the keyword phrase itself, but what's amazing is that they're still able to rank number one. And that keyword itself, yes, it is difficult at 87, but you know they're getting 893 visitors just from that keyword. How they did it? Let's go. Let's check out their product page. The very first thing I see is the keyword itself in the slug right here. Mess with the honk, you get the bonk. It's pretty fun to say it, to be honest. It's in the title. It's also in the product description right here. I also want to, it's worth mentioning that these reviews most likely Someone's mentioned it a few times in the reviews. So that is obviously going to help. I understand that they are user generated, so you may be um, out of control 
you can't control that. But you know, that's something to take note over time. It's going to add into your domain, your page authority. Let's check out the meta description. View page source, search meta name equals quote description. Just right here. All right, so their meta description is here in content. Our t-shirts are made from pretty strong covers and con and blah, 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 blah. Right over here. Mess with the honk, you get the bonk. The thing is, though, if I were them, I would put their keyword at the very beginning of their meta description. But shh, don't tell them that. They don't need more SEO advice. Going back to the product page. See this image, I'm curious. I'm actually surprised that they don't have more images of their shirt. And you can't really magnify it. But what's key here is the ability to customize it into a T, sweatshirt, hoodie, tank top, racer back tank. I don't really know the difference between a tank and a racer back tank, but sure. Let's see if they use their keyword in the alt attribute. And actually, you know, just ho hovering over it, I just saw it appear. Um, okay, it's not showing up. So another way to check it is to go to inspect element and it highlights the actual element here. And all you have to do is go to the very second to last line. You'll see alt equals, that's the alt tag. And here we go. The keyword again, mess with the honk, you get the bonk T. Earlier, I mentioned about the category pages. So for this particular website, lookhuman.com, what they did was they, they added it into their collections. So for example, they have LGBTQ+, plants, introvert, animal puns, fitness. Let's see all of them. Science lovers, trash, woman's march, meme queen. So that's what I would do. Right, take the take the keywords that are vague, you know, put them in here in the categories page. So what they did was, let's see, for example, Women's March. Let's say Women's March is their keyword, which I'm pretty sure is. As you can see, it's in the slug right here. And then these are all their, their shirts that's that has the Women's March theme to it. Women's March in the title. Let's see their meta description, view page source, find meta name, the script, right here. content and there it is women's march but like i said you know uh, what you want to do is move the the target keyword as to the beginning as or as close to it as possible all right we've come to the end of the video i think i answered the question on how to choose keywords for your e-commerce and you may want to take a screenshot of this or make a note of it somewhere, but you know, these are the steps. Step one is to differentiate between what's a good, what's a good keyword for a product page and a keyword for the category page. And then secondly, after that, you want to select your targeted keyword. Uh, remember that it's one targeted keyword per page. And then, you know, after a month, check back on that page to see how it's doing, how it's ranking, and make improvements that way. You want to add the targeted keyword to the title, h1 tag, meta description, any file name images, your alt tags, and your product description. If you found my video to be very, very helpful, please, please, please just make sure you hit the subscribe button. Uh, there's going to be more videos like this, and by liking and also subscribing, it, it tells me, also commenting too, please. It tells me, you know, what I'm doing right or maybe what I'm doing wrong. 
and it gives me ideas for new videos in the future. So I'm trying to get to 100 subs. That way I can finally customize my own channel's link and I can start making longer videos because right now the cap is at 15 minutes. So I want to thank you for watching and take care, guys. Peace. It's been real.